active Iowa team, but really mandatory with the way they're able to score so quickly, not giving extra possessions. Caitlin Clark starts things off with the three. It's 5-0 Iowa. She has just been fantastic this season. I mean, from her freshman year to now, I mean, she's been averaging 27 over the course of her career. Kayleen Spikel and one. Just preach, Kristen. Hey, I miss it, man. Give the ball. Bounce it in there. Great look for Molly Davis. Drains the three. And Clark is going to reset. Davis all alone. Yes. Loses the headband, too. Playing keep away with it. Protected the ball with her body. Clark just rims out Sonato right there. Count it. In some foul trouble, she was limited against Indiana. Clark takes it away and goes all the way. Monica Sonato, second and third, respectively, all time in Iowa career scoring. The seventh turnover for the Scarlet Knights. Clark feeding Marshall. But you see the rhythm and the spacing of Iowa's offense. That was a perfect pass and great spacing because of it. Kayleen Smichael. Marshall immediately gets her head up. Clark steps into it. This is the Hawkeyes. Smichael just has to throw that one up, and that'll be her first miss today. She's got 13. Up ahead to Molly Davis, doing it again and again. Folter gets to the rim. Kept in the possession by Sydney Folter. So much activity and the assists into O'Grady. Oak East Washington returning to the Big Ten. Three-time Big Ten Coach of the Year. And Gabby Marshall has the stroke to stop. Yeah, you like to see that for Gabby Marshall. Every pass like that, she's going to make five good plays. Clark off a curl, walks to a limit. Well, there's one good play. Basket from Kai Carter. With several transfers on this team as Clark threads the needle again, this time Martin on the receiving end. But Jess Grandmaster, a great comparison for Clark. Warnock sprinting the floor and lays it in. Three starters on the floor, along with Davis. And a falter. Smichael takes it away and lays it in. And close to getting her 12th 20 point game this season. There is the long range shooting by McKenna Warnock, netting the three. She hasn't really gotten a lot of quality touches down in there. She really has demanded a lot of attention inside. Rare opportunities like that, a late whistle. That also speaks, Christy, to how engaged this crowd is with this team, knowing that recent history. Taylor McCabe. You know, just looked over there, and they're, they're loving this moment, having their youngsters come out there and do great things. The Pulse. Well, I remember playing in games like that when I was in college, and we were playing at Texas. I played at Maryland, playing at Texas, and it was crazy, just like it is in here, right? I did it twice because it was so loud in there. A shout out to Indiana fans too who have sold out their game against Purdue. Taylor McCabe. But Rutgers has just eight players on its roster. Doesn't have that luxury. Christy, it comes unprovoked from the times I've talked to opponent head coaches, mm -hmm. and they will just bring up, I am so happy to have Coach East Washington back for her to beat. And that's a youngster with a huge upside. Another triple. Taylor McCabe, are you kidding? We also talk about Tasha Pointer, too, an all-time great for the Scarlet Knights to teach players like this how to score. With the players off the bench for the Hawkeyes. You want to get back to it. We were a different team a couple months ago. No, this is just <laughs> meeting again. And who will come out on top? Keith and Jimpy gets on the board. They shoot 63%. And 
And the Iowa Hawkeyes officially reached 20 wins this season.